Right then viewers, so here we go. So we're going to be doing the Half I Got News For You Trails, which you get um from this DVD of the very best of Have I Got News For You. Oh, and it's something to do with a mixture of BBC One and BBC Two. Okay, so I'm going to put that one on now so you can enjoy the nostalgia. Enjoy! That your final answer? Can I phone a friend? Okay, who would you like to call? Uh, Paul Mutton. Hello? Uh, hello Paul? Hello? Is Angus Deaton here? Hi. Uh, the next voice you hear will be Ian Hislop. Hi Paul, it's Ian. Uh, which is the odd one out here? Is it A? You got a nerve uh, phoning me up after your behaviour last week. Whatever possessed you to bring a duck to a party? I don't know, why should I help you, eh? You've got a university education, haven't you? What a waste of money that's turned out to be. Would you take a degree in pig ignorance? Um, I'll go for D. Yeah, it's a goat, because all the others are old Etonians. If you'd said A, you'd have been wrong. If you'd said B, you would have been wrong. But you said D, and that means you won yourself one point. Harder questions, no money. Have I got news for you? Friday at nine on BBC Two. After a large kill, lions have been known to sleep for up to 18 hours. The most ferocious carnivore to be found on the sun-baked plains of the Serengeti. The lion is a ruthless killing machine. Rightly called the king of the beasts, Yet, it's absolutely hopeless at making witty remarks on a topical news quiz. Have I Got News For You starts tonight at 9 on BBC Two. No lions. I just wanted to um, make it clear that uh, the three people on this television show, uh, Paul Merton, Angus Deaton and myself, are not, as it may appear, a great enemies who don't really like each other. I think I've got to go and um, call one of them up. Um, I think Angus, actually, because um, I've arranged to go go down the arsenal. Yeah, hi. Hi, Ang Angie. Angie, hi. Yeah, great. Well, look, I'll see you up the, you know, um, the, the, the football. And uh, Brill, yeah, good on you. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, ciao. A dolphin is not unlike a mobile phone using echolocation to communicate over vast distances. This emperor of the deep is one of the most intelligent of mammals. But ask them to name the odd one out from these four personalities, and suddenly they're not so smart. Have I Got News For You starts tonight at 9 on BBC Two. No dolphins. I nominate Paul because I think he's been cheating. Um, I've seen him reading newspapers, and I think he's got a pencil, which is against the rules. So, Paul. I'd like to... I'd like to nominate the bloody major chair. Have I got news for you? Starts next Friday at 9 on BBC One. for you starts tomorrow at nine on BBC One. I'm dying for the yogurt. Yeah, I feel as if I have to nominate Ian really because his behaviour in the jacuzzi was just out of order. Have I got news for you? Starts next Friday at nine on BBC One. I think it was a mistake for Angus to offer to give me a massage. Shagged Anna, you know. Have I got news for you? Starts next Friday at nine on BBC One. Oh, there's been any more. William, 
the student prince. As he starts his first year at university, just what is going on behind closed doors? This autumn on BBC One, a secretly filmed documentary series showing private moments in the prince's life has been replaced in the schedules by a quiz show about the news. Evening. Sorry about that. Have I got news for you? Friday at nine on BBC One. I mean, M. Yes, that was 2001, and that's where it really all started for me. It was quite a change of image, but the public really went with it. My first rap album went platinum. The other two got frightfully jealous, and uh, I don't know what happened to them, really. I think Angus went off to America, didn't he? Well, I like living in Montana. People have self-respect up here in the mountains. You know, sometimes you just have to take a stand. Have I Got News For You starts Friday 20th of April on BBC One. So there you go, viewers. That's all the trailers for Have I Got News For You Now. Alright then, so I will say goodbye now, viewers, and I shall see you in the ninth small VCI DVD update. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.